Greetings and good evening. <laughs> Welcome to another installment of Pull Up a Chair. Yes, sir. Yeah. What up, what up? We in the building. Mm -hmm. What's up? So, coming to you live and direct from Pull Up a Chair Studios, man. We got to get into some introductions. I am the War Chief. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Your boy E, Young Legend. No of you stand up. What up? What's up, y'all? Y'all know what's up, man. Hey. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's your boy Skull. Let's do it. I don't need no introduction. Y'all know what's up. <laughs> no introductions. No introductions. <laughs> All right, we got to get right into our segments, guys. Welcoming everybody back. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. This one's hot off the presses. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? First of y'all feeling good. Everybody feeling good? Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Everybody, yeah. Appreciate, everybody, yeah. appreciate that. I'm good. Yeah. Chilling like I've been Wack Warriors sin. on their way to another championship. Let's go. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Let's go. The mm. Wack Warriors. Yeah, I'm on live saying that shit. Let's go. Yeah. yeah I mean, right. look. Oh, so you, you with me Let's, now. You huh? get it. You get it now. I get what? Changing teams a little bit. Well, let's go, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Well, hey, we, we, we might see y'all. We might be in the finals with y'all seeing y'all. Yeah. So, you know, That'd be cool. you know how that goes. Me and you battled one year. You know, Heat, Lakers, did their thing. Bronze, yep. Bronze, you know what I mean? All right, getting into the first topic. <laughs> <laughs> getting into the first topic. And this is general. This is for everybody. It's a relationship. Uh, would you tell your girl if you had relations with one of her friends in the past, like before her? Mm -hmm. Would you tell? Do you see the beauty in it? Do you see the? Is it? Is, is it? Is it golden on the other side of honesty? Let's start with Sco. Mm. Mm. Um. <laughs> so are we talk like in a scenario where like you don't know. You don't know. I mean, you don't know her, and why like one day? Oh, my friend coming through. Um, you know, from college or something. You right. know what I mean? She pop up and it's like, oh. <laughs> right or um, y'all went to the same college but y'all grown now and you went to the school and you know you might have had some dealings with some friends that mm -hmm. she you know but you didn't know her then yeah okay. you know what I mean yeah yeah that's what I mean yeah, high school I mean. or whatever yeah yeah that's what I mean like yeah um would you tell your girl <sighs> yes okay uh not to be on like the honest side, like just to, to for transparency. Oh, you don't like honesty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, no, I love honesty. I oh, just okay. is there certain things that you that I admit, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 uh beneficial to admit from relationships, you know what I mean? You don't want to tra total transparency total. sometimes will be bad. It's gonna really? come out eventually. Mm -hmm. Now that's now that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't want to hear from her. I mean, she. You don't want her to hear from Somebody her. Else. Somebody like, else. Yeah. Like you know, later on, you know, that night, you know, what I mean, if mm -hmm. you know, if you didn't tell her, you know, your girl be like, yo, There's gossip going yeah. around and they get back <laughs> they to get her. Back, yeah. yeah. Let, let me paint you a scenario. Then. Okay. All right. Listen to this. Say that. Say you went to high school with your girl. Y'all wasn't cool like that in high school. You've seen her around. Mm -hmm. She might be two years younger than you. Mm -hmm. But you know a lot of people she know. Mm -hmm. High school. Y'all start dating in your adult life. Through conversation, you are up front with her about, oh, that's your girl? Like, still? Y'all still cool? Well, me and her had you know, some relations in the past. I'm being transparent. That's, right. That now, was for now, me, on. my caveat. Now, what if... She had a bad response to that. She had a bad response. She was negative, you know what I mean, or constantly on you about it for a few weeks. Then you find out you hit another one of her friends. Would you tell her again? <laughs> that is, that is, I think going back to what my mindset is, I probably would, yes, I would, I would tell her because I don't want her to hear from her. Girl's pretty good about or that. somebody <laughs> else, yeah, yeah, or, yeah like because 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 in the in the mindset I'm thinking she don't know who her boyfriend is either, so her, she the 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 girl that you know I have relations with before, prior is just as shocked as I am. Okay, so she might you know bring yeah. it up, yeah, and then you don't want to hear that out. You don't want her to hear that from somebody else. So mm -hmm. so yeah, you just. 
you kind of out it just to play kind of recon a little bit. Okay. I like your honesty. Yeah. So if it was two, three, Ooh. what would you, <laughs> would you just keep? It, you mean every time it's a bad, it's, it's, it's like. Yeah, because if you went to the same school or you was in the Navy or something like that, yeah. there's a chance that if yeah. you were yeah. the type of guy that got Small around. World. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if you, what if y'all was on the same ship, but y'all didn't know each other, but y'all know the same people and would you just keep being transparent <laughs> or one transparency, two mm-hmm. transparency? Is it, a, is it a limit to your transparency? I'm, I'm, oh my bad, it's still on school, my fault. Yeah, my answer would probably still be the same. I yeah. love it. Yeah. You're a stand-up dude. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Go ahead, E. Go ahead, E. I'm not saying anything unless it's a continual friendship that they hang out often. You know what I mean? Where I like you that. might come through on cookouts. You might, you know what I mean? Family events. That's when I if would. She has to see this person. Yes. Then you would. Yeah, I would. Okay. I would. I would get ahead of it, like you said. Get ahead of it, like yo. You know, I like that. Before I ain't, I ain't try to hide nothing from you. Before somebody might say something or get to you, I chopped it. You know what I mean? While back, now, before I knew you, now, before we chop, got together. I a, but listen, uh-huh. that, wouldn't that? I mean, wouldn't that kind of warrants a negative response? Like, because you don't know if they're gonna be chilling all the time. You know what I mean? So after that first time, you you know you. Had a chance to tell her, yeah. So it's like, oh, now you out in it. It's like, well, why you ain't tell me this before? Like we, we, we she on a, we on picnics all the time now. Now you want to say that? Now it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I, I understand that, but just like you said, I would want to get ahead of it before she find out from somebody else yeah. or before homegirl tell her. People can't control. Still, when you come with it, you came with it. Yeah. So what is that, it like it? because you, you know, it. I hang out with you know wifey friends. We go out, meet new people all the time. Small world, you know. what I mean, oh, I ain't know you knew this person. Whatever, whatever, whatever. If it happens, right. and it's and it's a one night thing where the chances is very very slim. Where we gonna be hanging out with this person again? Mm-hmm. I don't think I would say anything. So how but many nights will it take? If I realize that. Oh, she she coming again? We like we gonna be around again? Number two, probably. Then I might be like, look, I see what's going on <laughs> here. I see that it's a pattern that it may, you know, mean. But, so I will probably just say something to get get ahead of it. But look, though, so the first time you ain't say nothing, but the second nah. time, you're like, so they gonna be like, why you ain't tell me the first time? That's what I said. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be like, because if I don't think you know, what I mean? yeah, if it was a one time thing where we gonna be chilling with it again, or if you ain't got the person phone them in your phone. You ain't calling them. You ain't texting them. You ain't chatting with them. They not even in the group chat. Mm-hmm. You ain't on social media. Like, I'm, you might. I'm thinking that you're not gonna come across this person again. We we not gonna be chilling again. But if I see it as impossibly be a reoccurring thing, mm-hmm. okay. Look, now it's getting to the point where they getting cool. She getting invited to family events. We going out, you know what I mean? It's just a, a, a then I'd be like, look, I might have to say something. Just because the, you didn't tell me I had to learn from somebody else? That conversation, you know what I mean? That'd be a tough conversation. Man. Yeah, yeah. You didn't think you that I should that, know something like that, that? anyway. You know that, right? Hmm? You're going to get that after the second time she's been around. I just don't see well, a scenario where it, it, it would be cool. Yeah. It, well, it depends. I guess maybe, it depends on the girl. Maybe but, it'd be cool the very first night you tell them, like, look. Yeah. We, maybe. But then it might be like, okay, okay. Wh- why what, you? She might be like, why is, you telling well, me right now? Is this scenario we talking about like a one night thing or a, a relationship thing? It, it really don't, it don't matter. matter. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah you chop, like, you chop. You got it done. Okay, yeah. Whether you did it yeah. two times or one time. What you got on it, B, before I. Before I well, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. You telling? I mean, are you being transparent? I might have to tell him, man. You might have to. When? Yeah. That's very tough. Yeah, it is tough, though, but probably the first time. If friends. they friends, though, if they friends and he didn't know that, like, if you didn't, like you said, you you met your shorty and then right. her friend is, you, you messed with a long time ago, you beat. They might became friends after the fact. Right, right. I don't know. So, I mean, 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to tell him, like, yeah, man, you know. You're going to go ahead and divulge. Yeah, I'm going to go duck that joint because later on, it's going to be a problem. <clears throat> yeah. So, and for you, it don't matter if it's a one-night thing that you just so happen to come across this friend. Mm-hmm. And, and it don't matter whether it's a reoccurring friendship that you're going to see this person over and over again. Mm-hmm. That don't matter to you? It might not be a friendship after that. Oh. Oh. That, Between them two, yeah, oh. you, you, you know, you, you got a yeah. point there because she, I don't want you. She, she might yeah, not want her around. Exactly, it might not be a friendship. So that. you oh, waiting? I ain't to, think to, about that. Yeah, you're waiting to tell her. You're like, I've been chilling with this chick for two days, and da da da, and you just telling me two days. You gotta think about. You gotta think I, about the I, emotional just, females, though. You know what I mean? Emotion, emotion wise. So right. You gotta tell them. You gotta let them know on top. But. So you say, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like these are all cool reasonings, but mine 80%, would be eighty percent recon. You know what, man? I, now that I think about it, I don't know, cause cause the type of person I am, it's a lot of stuff that I'm just better off not knowing. I don't know if, if the roles was reversed. I don't think let's, I will. Let's not do that yet. We're going oh, to, yeah, we're okay, going. okay. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. All right, we're we'll go ahead. Okay, Lee, what you got? Uh, I would it it would depend on my partner. I'm I, I'm a complex person. I got I compartmentalize things differently. It would depend on my partner at the time. If I felt like she could handle the information, then I probably would tell her. If I don't think she would respond well to that type of information, I wouldn't tell her. I don't like a lot of conflict. But so. you gotta have conflict if if it get out. If That's you know, a risk you gotta I, take. No, I wouldn't even look at that as a risk. If it got back to her or the girl told her i would tell her straight up i don't think that you could do nothing with that information i didn't think it was relevant you. or you would explain yeah. why you didn't talk yeah yeah i would i would tell her like i've seen the way you look if somebody look at me crazy yeah you know, i don't want a lot of conflicts i i would level with her if it did get out but i wouldn't so you I wouldn't n- just divulge it depending on the person if it was a mm-hmm. person that was really solid in, in themselves and didn't display a lot of signs of jealousy i probably Level with her on the first time but I saw her. You are right. telling the truth now. In any in any event. Oh yeah. If, if but you were like, nah, I ain't smiling. No, nah, I, I wouldn't do that. Right. I wouldn't do that. No, if no, she no, asked no. me directly, I would be honest with her. Mm. But I, I'm, I likely wouldn't say nothing. That's mm-hmm. just who I am. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people, adults, ain't just going around telling each other. Yeah. yeah. Who they slept with in yeah, the right. past, especially if it ain't relevant. We ain't got no googly eyes for each other. We yeah, did that if she come around, I'm still with my girl. I mean, that's what about if you get to, to an a argument that I know a lot. Nah. <laughs> what about if you get to a little argument, like she, they might not like each other after a while. They might get to a little argument, and then she tell them. I don't be like, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's that. That was in our past. I just. And then she gonna come back. You why you ain't tell me that you got that? Woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm back on you. Just what I told y'all. I didn't think it was relevant information. I, yeah. I don't. I, I mean, I'm certainly not dealing with her now. She ain't say that. She said we did it ten years ago, or fifteen years ago. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't even look at her like that. Mm-hmm. I would just level with her. And some of that stuff, you best not knowing. Yeah, Cause, cause exactly. What if, what if it's a bunch of their friends? You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depending on what kind of guy you was in the past, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. I know some guys that were some wild guys. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> it could be it could be multiple. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. And some of that information is best left where it's at, especially if it ain't affecting your everyday life. Yeah. So it, it would depend on a few things for me, but if if it did get back, I would level with her. Mm-hmm. And I would explain why I chose not to tell her. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean. You think she can be cool with that? that? She can be cool with that. That makes sense. It depends on the person. Yeah, it depends on. Depends on, on yeah, I mean, yeah. there's no guns to nobody head. Right. You know I mean? If you that mad over some shit that happened 15 years ago, then yeah, they'd be any person for me. Yeah. So you know what I mean, it seemed like us three was more worried about preventative maintenance. The what if she found out and we didn't tell them like that? Mm-hmm. That right there is kind of. The thing that was kind of driving our answers, like I would rather you find out from me That's because true. I kind of got a feeling you would flip if you knew from, and I ain't say nothing. I mean, that's kind of how, and unfortunately, that's kind of how I think it would go. But with your scenario, you run a higher risk of her hearing it from somebody else or hearing it from her because you waited. 
Yes, I would definitely wait to see if this is this is a thing where she's going to be around often. I would. I wouldn't just come out and say it if it was on some we randomly met we some seen them at the movies. Yeah. Oh, girl, we'll just go get our nails done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it was like a random meet and they they not even talking no more or don't won't come across each other no more, I wouldn't say nothing. But if I notice that a friendship is building, it's multiple Come game night at the crib, cookout at the crib. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Going out, I I think at that point I would just I would say you something come out with it. in fear of the reaction. Why you ain't tell me? We've been around this, that, and the third. I I went in the kitchen and left y'all in the room by y'all. So you know what I mean, mm-hmm. just anything. You I, I guess, you know, I, y'all women. Yeah, I guess yeah. it was a repetitive, <laughs> really? repetitive. Yes, and it's the, I probably just for the sake. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Depending on my partner again. If yeah. I felt how, yep. If I felt like you gonna go slam, I ain't got time for all of that. I've been through too much. <laughs> if, if if you can handle information like an adult, maybe yeah. we can talk. Yeah. Have an adult conversation. If you can't, I right, move along. Ooh. Move on. Keep yeah. it okay. Now, good. yeah. Cap- caveat time. There's caveat time. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> same thing. Uh, same mm-hmm. scenario. Different. Mm-hmm. You know, different favors. Would you want to know if your girl slept with one of your friends, your colleagues from work, <laughs> a guy that you see all the time? A family member, all of that. <clears throat> if 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 they did in their past, would you want to know? Start with school again. Yeah, let's keep it going. <laughs> Same thing. Um, I think that I think that in this situation, I would have to go with E on his reasoning to telling her. I would want to know if it was a regular, you know, like is the a couple or something, you know what I mean? We friends or whatever. Right. And if he around a lot, yeah. You yeah. want to know? Yes. Because right. he not going to be around no more. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. You going to keep hanging out? Huh? Y'all going to keep hanging out as a couple? Like him and his girl come around, you and your girl. Mm-hmm. What if he cool? What if he mad cool? That just happened a long time ago. I can't, I can't have you around. You can't have him around? Nah. Right. What about just you and him go chilling Mm-mm. with her not there, Mm-mm. wifey not there? Okay, nah. I understand. I I get. We're gonna do trade stories. Nah, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I mean, I I really understand because I'm the type who, what I don't know, I ain't I ain't got I can't I can't think about what I don't know. Mm-hmm. I can't foster on what I don't know. So are you saying you would rather not know? I would. I would because rather you, not know. Because, don't tell me. Don't tell me I mean, a damn thing. You don't really want to. You don't really, I mean, you don't want to know, like, who your females are, attra- who your girl is attracted to. Right. Now, you know for a fact that this guy is, is attractive, like, she's attracted to him. Not necessarily. People chop people for different reasons. Probably. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could be coming out of something. They could be reeling from something else. Yeah, and yeah. Just- could be hurting, could be anything. They, they, I, they don't okay. necessarily have to be attracted to him, is what I'm saying. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> but you know, he whatever he did, he got he, he, he got in. He got the he got to the finish line. Right. And GTD. 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 <laughs> Where does GTD stand? <laughs> but I, me, I just want that as far away from my situation. So you would want to know, and then you would do something to make sure he not around, coming around. Yeah, I'd be like, nah, you, you can't. Yeah, we can't. We cool, cool yeah. on that. Even if y'all had a couple of nights, couples night, y'all was chilling, he was cool. Y'all buying rounds of drinks. Game I night would, was mad. I fun. would be, I would, I would be upset. It took her that long to tell me. Gotcha. You so know, you want to know night one? No, no, no. Like <laughs> night two. If he yeah, around. and let's say night two. Night yeah, two. if he if it night two. Yeah, but if it's like in passing or something like that, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got one for you. Oh, what if you shit. and your girl live together? Uh-huh. Y'all ran into the girl and him. Uh-huh. She didn't say nothing. But y'all did set up game night, and she didn't tell you. But she told you after they came and left the second time for game night. Would you have been upset with her that she even let, allow him to come in the crib for a couples game? I, yeah, it, I, mean, I think my yeah my shorty would never definitely know me and know that hope. I'm not. You would hope, yeah, know that I wouldn't be cool with something like that. Mm-hmm. So you say so, you got jealous tendencies? 
That's just about to say, like, not, you know I mean, you got to be. I mean, I mean, you, I, mean like, every, I mean, everybody got oh, any yeah. any sort sort so, you know some right. sort of possessive. I, I know me. I would not want to know. Don't tell me. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> what would that do for you? I, I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If I if if she just volunteered that information, it, I I know me. I probably would not um, change or act different. You know what I mean. I hope I would, you know what I mean? That's but not realistic. Yeah, I think I would just, you know, when I see him, I know that's the first thing that's going to pop in my mind is that mm. she told me this. So, you know yeah. what I mean? What? And now... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, all right, the little hug was a little too long, yeah. goddamn. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so, you know what I mean? You laughing at this joke too damn hard. You laughing a little too damn hard. What do I do to women when yeah. I know I used to... <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, you go back to your girl's hometown for her uh, 20-year high school reunion. 10 year because you're younger. Mm-hmm. Ten year high school reunion. Mm-hmm. You want her to point out all the dudes she slept with? If it was two, if it's three, you want her to tell you? Nah, like see, I slept that's... with Chad. I slept with Robert. Ain't slept... never gonna see them again. Yeah, I'm never there. What if y'all there for three days? It's a three day of <laughs> three day event. Now, if I know, I'm I'm about to leave. The it's cool. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't don't tell me. Okay, because yeah. but I might have. A what little bit Robert of suspicion and, and, because and, and, some people over there like looking yeah. mad hard. Dude over there looking kind of hard. What are you looking at? <laughs> I just don't want to know, period. I don't want to know at all. But if I do find out, I don't think I would treat dude differently. I don't think I would be like, oh, we can't hang out with him no more. I think I would just... Avoid, the, I, I know me. I do a lot of joking <laughs> and I do a lot of playing around. So I know me. When he leave, I'm going to be joking around. Yeah, you was laughing a little too hard at his jokes. I seen it where you... I, and then that will probably piss her off because I will be saying stuff like that. Is you know that, what I mean? Is that a coping mechanism for you, though? Are you I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Ronald, what you doing, man? Do you want to know? Uh, Don't want to know, yeah. Is, is that something that you think you would rather know than not know? Uh, shit. I don't know, bro. Like, oh, I probably wouldn't want to know. Uh, it depends on, like you say, um, now if we stay somewhere else, if she stays somewhere else out of town, we went to, like you say, go to a, a, a 10 year or a reunion, right. whatever have you. Mm-hmm. Nah, I ain't no need to know. Um, but if, if it's a reoccurring thing, you probably want to know that. Mm-hmm. What if it's yeah. one of her close friends' dudes, but they yeah. f- they together? They know, you know what I mean. And the friend, her friend, is cool with it. She mm-hmm. know they slept together before. She cool with it. Mm-hmm. Now it's on you to be cool with it because she told you. Well, could you still hang out with that couple? They like hanging out with y'all. Yeah, I ain't got no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm good with me. I know me. You know what I'm saying. That's great. Like you say, I'm good with me. I know me. Um, as long as there ain't no extra shit. I got a scenario. Don't let me forget it after I get my response. As long as this was a real life scenario that happened to one of my friends, but um, if it ain't no extra shit, then I'm good. I'm I'm cool with me. You know what I'm saying? So cool. Yeah. I know I'm gonna have a lot of slick stuff to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? When 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 they leave, I don't think I would say he can't come around no more. We can't hang out with him no more. I know it'd just be a lot of slick stuff. That's just yeah, I, I got an issue with, with you know stuff I mean? like that. I, I need energy I need therapy. Or something. It won't be real. I got you. So, yeah, yeah, let me let me ahead, make sure I get everybody's responses clearly. You would want to know. You would want to know. I would definitely if, want if to. The know. person is going to be coming around or have came around more than once. You saying you would want to know? Mm-hmm. I don't want to know at all. No, nah, I don't want to know at all. That's kind of where I'm at. I would rather not know. Yeah, I don't want to know at all. I don't even really. If, I mean, keep that to yourself. If, 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 if the person coming around all the time too. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that inf- information can benefit me. It can but, only cause me to mm, overthink the situation. Mm-hmm. But then again, That's me. something might come up and they come out. How you going to act? I would have to find that out if it happens. I don't. Mm, a lot of grown good. people don't. I mean, it, we, I'm we, telling that's you, life. I would rather not know. Yeah. If it got back to me and she had a reasonable response, I would. It'll be up to me if I can deal with it or not. Mm-hmm. It, might, I mean? it might come out nasty. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, like, like during a fight or something? Yeah. Oh, and, I mean, and, yeah. and in that case, then I got to handle it according to mm-hmm. I think 
it's going to go. But I'm, I'm just saying, knowing myself, I would rather not know. Yeah. The things I that know I don't me. know, don't, don't hurt me. me. Yeah. Yo, that's exactly what I'm saying. What I don't know won't hurt me. I would rather not know. to tell me, do I think I can deal with it? Probably, because I... I got a better understanding of life and how a lot of shit can happen yeah. now. Now, I don't know if I could have did it 10 years ago, but where I'm at in life right now, I think I could handle it. Mm-hmm. Well, who's to say? Mm-hmm. Real life scenario. I don't know if my friend watches the show, but he, his girl had a, a ex that messed around and died. Mm. And she cried for two weeks grieving over the ex. Mm. Like she would just be like sitting in the corner, tears would be. How? <laughs> it's not it's funny. Not it's funny. not funny, yo. Not, not funny. It's funny because Rihanna that? text who got, tweeted something about this too. Go ahead. I, I'm not saying I'm the know all, be all, but I got a few. We all close. We can confide, confide in each other. If I have some, you know a problem with something, it's a few of my friends that I trust enough to you know talk to about that. So he confided this information to me. Not gonna say his name. Mm-hmm. But he asked me, like, why do you think I should be responding in this situation? Like, this chick is literally crying. Like, this this has been going on two weeks. Um, mm-hmm. Should I be bad or should I continue to pet her up? Tough. Like, should I put my foot down? Like, hey, you got to stop this crying. You know what I mean? And that's a real situation. They they were um, a married couple and mm. everything. They, they, they are a cool family. You know what I mean? Um did she have kids with the ex dude who nah, died? Nah, nah, no kids. It was her, um, I think her boyfriend from high school. They were real friends. Um, they had a good relationship. I think she moved from the area, he, and they just wasn't together no more. She ended up getting married. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. what adults do. Life but when is. the dude died, like she was really, really broken hurt. up. Damn. My advice to him was to. Monitor that situation, man. I mean, yeah. I, I I can't. I don't like telling people. I don't like giving people advice that brings more conflict mm-hmm. to them. If anything, I try to pour water on the situation. But I thought that was a little bit excessive. Yeah, I, I just so. thought of something like completely stupid. But it, I man, thought crazy. crying for two weeks. Yeah, that's I was of, excessive. Like it, what? Like that's kind of got them. And death is final. It's yeah, super it final, is. but I, super I cry at work, baby. Don't stop crying in front of me. Rihanna, yeah, Rihanna yeah. tweeted. Him. She said, "If we together and your ex die and you cry, we over." Mm-hmm. That's tough. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. It. I mean, to me, it's a bunch of things, a bunch of factors that play in that situation. You know what I mean? Mm. Um. It would have to be a super recent ex too. Yeah, that, like a super recent. A, a long term relationship. Recent though, like, like, like recent, recent. Yeah, because like I seen her the, a few weeks ago. The recent, like, yeah. I, I think not something in high school. I think I mean, if I mean, if the if you haven't seen this guy in years and years and years, and he passed away and you crying for two weeks straight, to me, it's not even about. You know, it, to me, it's like you ain't seen dude in years. I'm hoping okay that that you ain't that's seen. What you that's what I'm hoping. You ain't seen the one that got away. Okay, you say yeah. this. We in a small town. We we in Norfolk. I'm gonna just say Norfolk, and you know, people and dealt with people. Uh, and you say the person died, but you ain't been with that person. Let's say, but what you say you ain't been with him. What? How long? Five years. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a that's long two. time. That's not a long time. Five years not a long time. That that means that at least five years you ain't been with him. But if you it, see it, that it, motherfucker it, around the town though, he's what? But if you see her or him around the town, uh, yeah. you, you might not been together in five years, but y'all still see each other here and there. You might see yeah, a grocery social store. Media you might see people together. Yeah, exactly. Social media. They, they that too. Social media. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. She could see his life and her, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It would have to be some type of real connection there. Oh, other that's than a long like, time. What, five years? years? No, no, no. Two, that's two, weeks. two weeks. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a super long time. I don't know, is it? So, that's like your grandmother or your <laughs> mom or something. Right. That's a, that's a long time. People express their feelings different ways different. and grieve differently, yeah. but right. Right. but 
I personally, standing in my shoes, would think that the guy is not that important to be crying two weeks over. That's what I would think. He can't be that significant that you crying for two straight weeks. You know what I mean? But I I don't think that. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't think that anyone, any person outside of the family would warrant two weeks of crying. Okay. Like. Yo, we're like, what's happening? How would like, you- well, he talking about if you haven't seen him in a while or talked to him in a while, right? Yeah, if it's been yeah. five years, mm-hmm. you know, like, were you crying over this dude? <laughs> okay. well, like, Kwame said, like you said, Kwame said, social media still have people together. Let's say if you ain't, that person ain't been with that person in about, I'm going to just say, you said five, I'm going to say ten years. That's a long time. I'm going to say ten years. Mm-hmm. But you still see the person around town and social media. And, and the girl crying over... Whatever, would you is that? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it for for me, it just seems a bit excessive. It, it yeah, just like, very very just, much excessive. Yeah, that's yeah. like a heartbreak type. Now stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Um, if it was your girl, how would you respond to it? Is the question. Yeah, would you shut her down? Would you say? I hey, probably, hey. I probably would do what your homeboy did. I would probably just. I don't even know what he confined did. in yeah. someone else. Like, someone else, like, yeah. Like, like yeah, is that's this? What he did. Like, am I tripping or is this? A, is this too damn long? Like, is this too? Yeah. You know, is, you know what I mean, I, I can see. The first you know, week, like he was like, okay, yeah. yeah. Second week, yeah. yeah. That's a, that seems like. <laughs> I yeah, think I would have damn minute. Now. I would have had eyebrows raised after a few days. Like, yeah, because because crying I'm, is a huge emotion. Yeah, like that, is. that not to some people. Some people, cry yeah, all, all the time. time. Now, it, Girl, is that person a crier? That, that could I don't be know a, her well mm, enough to yeah. say if she, like, was, she was crying that time. <laughs> yeah, it really don't matter if you cry or not. You still that, that's a huge emotion over somebody you ain't mess with in in a long time. And from my point of view. They couldn't have been this significant to you it, it, recently. I, I, I'm being a little insensitive. How are you handling it? That's what it, we. That's want what I. Know. That's what I said. Okay. I, I think that <laughs> after a few weeks, you got to. You got to. You got to. Two do is something. a few. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I meant to say after a few days. My bad. After a few days. <laughs> what are you prepared to say? I'm prepared to say you got to get over it. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what did this guy mean to you? I didn't know that. Like you got to explain to me why you this hurt. Let me see some DMs, some text messages, some you know what I mean, some FaceTime calls, some some visits. Why? Why is it? Yeah, today. Like you ain't seen homie in years. You ain't talked to him in years. What is what's happening? What if why? Response. You don't understand. Oh. No, Damn. wait, wait, what? Yeah, I don't have to. <laughs> to you don't have to what? <laughs> I don't have to explain to you. This is I how I explain feel. myself to you. That I was did. a wild one, though. I know yeah. he was really like he a cool guy, a nice guy. I would venture to say uh, he care care about his wife. He yeah. don't want to see her in pain, right? But yeah. there has to. be. She's not in no pain. <laughs> fuck with dude. It has to be a point where you gotta say, "Come on, baby. Ooh, come on, now. Yeah, years. exactly. That's yeah, a, I think I would. That was I would wild. do the same thing he did. I I don't know. I I just don't see myself confronting that. It, it just that that just seems a little insensitive. It seems hella insensitive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it can be perceived as insensitive to you. You're right. What about right? Yeah, you're her about, husband yeah. or the children of her father. Like, yeah. What about when she right. crying? You know, all oh, this and you not you not consoling me enough and all this shit. Nah, bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, pardon me. Uh, everybody. I didn't mean that was a reaction. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not doing everything you can for me. You got doing no everything you can for me. <laughs> you, you're doing way too much. <laughs> Nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. Nah. Oh, hell no. Oh, that <laughs> was funny. <laughs> you already out of pocket. Now I'm supposed to no. console you more. That's oh, what I'm this? saying. Oh, oh, we, I man, already, man. I already have a, a, I guess a reputation of being insensitive, and I'm <laughs> sure that would be a, a time yeah. where I will be very insensitive. And it's not even trying to be mean. It's just trying to be like, yo, I didn't know. explain to me why this is so hitting you so hard. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, I maybe I shouldn't use those words. Yeah. Ex- oh. <laughs> explain to me why you so devastated over this. What? Right. 
You know what I mean? I, I don't know, but we gotta move on. Yeah, that was yeah. A funny <laughs> segment though. Funny, funny that's, stuff. Like, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just crazy. All right, moving on to the next segment. Mm-hmm. A little bit more serious of nature. Uh, this segment deals with uh, our, our freedoms as um, U.S. citizens. I don't know if there's any patriots in the room, but our freedoms, our liberties. How much of our freedoms, your freedoms, your liberties, are your rights are you willing to give up to ensure the safety of all citizens? Are you willing to budge on some things, give some things back? Mm-hmm. E, talk to us about freedoms. Liberties. Yeah, so, I mean, we all know we live in America, right? Great country of America. This is America. This is America, right? right? And what you hear about America all the time is we got <coughs> constitutional rights. That right. We got freedoms and liberties. You know, this is the land of the free. Mm. We supposed to be able to, to say what we want, do what we want in the confinements of the law. You can't mm-hmm. break the law. The law is the law, right? Mm-hmm. Within the confinements of the law, you're supposed to be free to do whatever, right? Yeah. But we can't deny that we have people who break the law, for one. Right. And we have people who um, um, have a blatant disregard for the safety of others. Mm. Facts. So... In order to ensure the safety of others, how far am I willing to go as far as am I willing to have, you know, the government monitor my cell phone, my, my, my Internet searches? Am I willing to have them, you know, track me and everywhere I'm going? Am I willing to have surveillance in my house or whatever? You know, the big one is guns. You know yeah. what I mean? Guns. You know what I mean? Having, Second you, having them turn your guns um, in, restricting guns. It, so, when it comes to guns, if the government can 100% assure me that 100% of people have no guns, <laughs> I would gladly get, my, get guns up. Right. If you can let me know and assure me that nobody else got them, then I don't have an issue with giving them up. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? But if they can't make those assurances. You can't make those assurances. You can't say that. A hundred percent of the people in the United States don't have guns. So if that's the case, I think people should still legally be able to obtain guns and legally be responsible for guns and then deal with the consequences of them breaking that law. But until they sweep door to door, Maine, the Florida, the Texas, the Cali, all the way and take every single gun in America out, right. then they should just they should Would leave you it. Be. Like more restrictions, maybe uh, put. Let's we talking mm-hmm. about guns. Maybe take make it harder for everybody to get guns. So I, I am. Think, uh, I think they should make like a psychological. It's like Chris Rock said. It's not like Chris Rock. It was some comedian. They it said, was Chris Rock. Make Chris the bullets Rock expensive. Make bullets expensive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. but I definitely do think that some states need a more uh, strict uh, vetting process of who can get guns okay. because. Um, we already have stuff in place in, in a lot of states, you know, for processes to get guns, you know, but a lot of states only have, you know, uh, domestic convictions. You know, if you was a domestic violence, con- convicted of domestic violence, you right. can't get a gun or okay. whatever. Or it's harder to get a gun. Yeah. But psychological evaluations play a big part in all of these, you know, things going Sounds around like the country. The, 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 uh... The majority of these, some of these mass shootings and things like that, it seems like the person ends up being not that stable. Or, or mental, claims to be right. after they get caught. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah. And I always say you can't talk gun laws and gun safety and gun whatever without talking about mental health and the mental well-being of, of the overall people. If you can make, go if you can, hand. Yeah, if go you hand can hand. make guns... Not so easily obtainable. Make it super expensive. Make make it un, you know what I mean. Like it can still be legal to get, but you're gonna have to pay crazy out of pocket to get it. Yeah, that'll I, filter a lot of people out. It'll filter the yeah. people without money out. It's yeah. still gonna be people that buy up guns and sell them. Yeah, yeah. sell them, give them out, yeah. do whatever they doing. But what about but more of the lines? If I bought a gun. 
it, let's just say a, let's just say a, a, a forty five, right? If a forty five costs sixty thousand dollars, right? I'm not selling that to nobody. Not anything less than sixty G's. You gotta think about it. Niggas doing this shit now. So what you think they're gonna do sixty G's? Nobody buy for goddamn a hundred thousand. I but, mean, but but that'll filter a lot of people out. Nobody walking around with a hundred G's. Motherfuckers gonna try to get them done. They're gonna try. Regardless. That but that doesn't really that doesn't really fix the illegal gun. You know what I mean? The guns that's out in the streets that get out there, whether they've been stolen from people, whether they've been, they run up in it's gun shops. Tons of guns on the streets already. Already. Mm-hmm. That, so that don't what, fix that issue. You know well, what I mean? N- none of what we're, what we're planning on discussing will fix that issue. Unless they sweep door to door, room to room, house to house, and gather up every single gun in America, which is to me, to me, impossible. Yeah, exactly. To me, that's that's impossible. impossible. Yeah. So you can't do that, right? Mm-hmm. So what they do is they try to put restrictions on on going buying guns going forward. So so right. So we don't get off the beaten path. Let's just yeah. kind of get a consensus about how we feel about. So are you saying the only way that you're willing to give up your guns is? If all the guns, if, let's, if you had guns, mm-hmm. is if all the guns was off the street, right? And seeing this has that's a huge hypothetical that probably won't happen. You probably won't happen. That I'm you, saying that they should still let people legally buy guns okay. because you can't ensure that everybody don't have them. But the question of liberties, rights, and freedoms being taken away. We got a lot more than that of liberties, rights, and freedoms than just owning a gun. You know what no, I mean? We definitely we got. Man. You know, we got more than most nations, <clears throat> most countries. If, right. If we're being honest. Right. So, a question could be: Would you want to be surveillance, like have surveillance on you? You know what I mean? Like, do you think that it, that if they if the government was to say in order to Crack the, in order to stop all crime by a ridiculous percentage, a ridiculous amount, some so astro- from sixty percent to seven percent, right? Something it, like that. Something like that. In order to stop crime, a ridiculous amount, mm-hmm. and we prove that this work, we have to a hundred percent surveil everybody in the country. Which means at all times they got tabs on you. They know where you at and what you're doing. Right. But in return, <clears throat> since you know you're being watched. Most people is not going to commit a crime knowingly being watched. That's a fact. Unless it's some type of crime or passion. Unless it's some type of crime or passion. You you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's why it probably won't 100% go away. <clears throat> but if you could significantly reduce the amount of crime based on... it was, It's almost like... I, I'm a big movie head. Everybody know. I, Robot, right? Mm-hmm. The robots were three laws safe. One of the laws was to protect the humans. Right. How did they do that? They put hella restrictions on them because yeah. they gotta protect the humans. Mm-hmm. You can't go out at a certain time. Mm-hmm. You you I always yeah you always being watched. You always being surveillance and chaperone because you don't know how to control you. You a human and your behavior is sporadic and you are unpredictable. So they gotta restrict you, make right, make, make the decision for you. Yeah, you too swing because you too yeah. swing in the absence of their rights. And liberties, mm-hmm. they were way safer. Yeah, yeah, but you so restricted. Yeah. See now, how, how much of your liberties are you willing to give up? With me, how many kids you can have? Yes, they certain, do. Certain ones. I'm just yes. So. With, with me, I don't have. I have zero problems with any surveillance or anything like that. If I don't know about it, if I'm, if I am aware of it. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, you know, it was a lot of, it was a big thing. People were talking about the TVs and the cameras on the TVs and all of that. Now, if the government or whatever wants to go to my TV and hack my TV and do whatever and they want to do and look at me, mm-hmm. look th- at do what you got to do. I, <laughs> I don't care about that. Now, right. if I know that they're doing it, if, if like a green light comes on, like, you know, you webcam or somebody... If a light comes on or something like that, and I know that you're looking at me, then that's a problem. 
But if if you that's kind of what we were just talking about, yeah. So if, well, if you not, don't know. It, it clearly, is not a problem, right? But we talking but, about knowing. That's what I'm saying. Would you willingly give up that right to privacy? Would you willingly or give that up? Yeah, if I don't know about it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. But I'm saying they, it. They can. If you're willingly giving up, you know about it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm saying I'm talking about like, like when it's when they're, um, for instance, um. We talking about policy, legislation. Like yeah, they saying we gonna make you guys a lot safer. You going probably not see no more of these shootings and mash. But this is what we need to do to do it. Right? Are you mm-hmm. willing to give those up? Are you? Or, for instance, like if they just put in more surveillance cam, like CC, like how it is in, in London, where every street corner is a. No, is no, a I'm talking about your backyard. You, you making up? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We, about, we are surveilling you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and everybody like you, everybody around. We putting cameras up to keep everybody safe, so it will be less shootings. There's no, I oh, don't know. Okay, it's not yeah. Less shootings yeah. I'm no cool shootings. with that. Yeah, gotcha. You'd be good with that. Yeah, right. You're cool with being. If it doesn't affect me, it's going to affect you. How? They're gonna be watching you. Like, they, gonna yeah. Move me. I don't care. I mean, so I mean, I, it's confusing I, because I mean, if you don't care. Why does it matter if you know or not? Exactly. What I'm what I'm saying is that doesn't if putting cameras up everywhere doesn't doesn't um it it doesn't have any effect on me. So I, why would you I'm care gonna, if you I'm knew going, or not? Huh? Why you, you said if you know so it's a problem. For instance, like I said, if if they were to be able to get into my uh uh um, webcam or something like that. I I don't care if they if they can do that. But if I know that they're doing it, then I have a problem with it. So if they was that's what if they were able to you. get anywhere and do anything they wanted to do, then I would it would have okay. to be a it would have so to be a, par, a they, part where it would have to be me not be able to to identify when they're doing it. They're doing it all the time, 100% of the time. 24 hours. 24 hours. Of every day. All, they Being, come to your house, they put a camera in the corner of every one of your damn room. rooms. It's everywhere. You know that they're surveilling you to keep everybody it's like safe. Big Brother on steroids. Yes. It's oh, cameras well, everywhere. No, that, that, no, that's why. That's, that's, that's what, what, what the question is. What about guns? Are you willing mm-hmm. to give up guns? To, to mm-hmm. stop some of the foolishness that we see going on. Or do, would, would you be cool nah. with them... Erasing the Second Amendment, saying you don't have the right, right to, to have guns. guns. Nope. In- Internet searches, cell to, phone. I would have like calls, text messages, everything that you do. If they was the guarantee that they can drop crime significantly, would you sign up? Would you sign be, up for that? It won't be no more Sandy Hooks. It right. won't be a lot of this stuff that has happened that we seen. But yeah, because they'll be able to to see. Eagle eye. They'll be able to see, oh, he got a gun and he driving where and he got out the they'll be able car. It's in everywhere. It's yeah. in your trunk. They'll be able to Number help. One. You can't get rid of all the crime, but they'll be yeah, significantly be dropping. You True. Said it for me. I, I mean mm-hmm. yeah, said it for me. I, I think that um it would be can it would be you a lot of pushback to, to, initially. To, to get more but when we yeah. when we ten years into that, if that were to happen, if we ten, twenty years into that I don't think, you know. So initially, you fighting it. You were resisting. You resisting it initially. You yeah, not voting I'm not, for it. Yeah, Th- that won't be nah. So okay. So for this, you want your privacy <clears throat> at the cost of safety. Yes. You want it like gotcha. it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. It took a long time I, to get that. No, yeah. No, no. Yeah. That, We're gonna be. But that's not what I'm. That's not. What, you making all these other trap doors. No <laughs> trap doors. All right, go ahead. Either you sacrifice I'm, I'm going to just keep not. it simple. I'm going to like, nah, I want all my rights. What's I want rights? all my privacies. I want the right, I'm right to bear arms. I want all that shit. But, but what about who's gonna, all, what? The, all the things that we see in? It's going to probably keep happening. Okay, let's say if you take all the guns off the right. street, as they say, as you say, but uh, you're putting cameras in every room. Let's say if somebody do, um, how you going to protect yourself? You're not going to need to. And no one's going to have a gun. So cameras going to save you for somebody getting to you or something like that. And you, don't need no well, gun. you don't need no gun to hurt you. Ca- cameras and knowing you're being watched is a deterrent. It, it, it doesn't stop 
anything. It deters. If I know this camera is watching me, I'm not about to take this or do this or whatever. You don't it's, know how other people think, though. It don't matter. It's across the board. <laughs> most people, when they know they're being watched, most people act differently. No matter whether it be. Mad, no matter if it, it make them go harder or they chill out. Thing. People let's, act let's differently when they know they're being watched. Like I'm not giving up no rights or nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at you. I'm just right, like, right, right, that's, right. That's what this whole thing is about. You want to keep that we everything keep the way everything it is. Everything the way it is. Even if kids getting shot up. I mean, shit. They did what that shit in before. Virginia you? Beach. Mm-hmm. Man, look. You, life. I'm not saying you're good with I, it, but you. I'm not, I'm not good with it. No, I'm not good with it. But right. at the same time, um, I need, I, I need all my rights here. I need all everything that we have right now. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, I would have to say okay. that I'm good with it to a certain extent. For example, if it's for certain crimes, if it's for certain heinous crimes, but what if I stream a movie, pirate a movie, mm. are they going to come get me at that point? You know what I mean? Like, it's for certain crimes, you know what I mean? Like, what if they monitoring me and I'm going 10 miles per hour over the speed limit? They going to come give me a ticket? You know what I mean? You can't, but, you, but you I, can't limit the crime. You that, can't limit all the stuff you're saying. You can't tell like, if they do that, they do that. If you're doing it wrong, if you if you um, streaming shit, then they're they going to get you regardless. Yeah, yeah but that's not you a know? safety issue, though. You see and what I'm saying? Not, but it's still I, strictly for the safety of all, which means y'all y'all know what that that is. And when you surveillance and you see that this this house, they stockpiling weapons or whatever they may, so may be. In a perfect world, yeah, all the little stuff they not fooling with. They mm-hmm. just doing safety stuff. Right, you would be open to the change. Right, which is sort of kind of like that now. Some stuff that people do, they turn a blind eye to. Right, because it ain't. A major thing, but they thwart the government thwart plots all the time. Let's mm-hmm. say in a perfect world, they mm-hmm. did take all the guns off the street. Yeah. Well, see, that's uh, hold on, Steve. Hold on, Steve. Let's say in a perfect <laughs> world, they did t- was able to use some type of scanner that scans your home, your property. Mm-hmm. They scanned every corner of the United States. They took all the guns off the street. You will be willing to sacrifice. Some of those freedoms, if it meant safety. Yes. All, yes. You will have no problem. With no it. problem. With I feel that like scenario. You have no choice. That scenario you just said. Not the little stuff. Not right. Ten miles right, over right, speed. Right, limit, right. Not pirating video. If if you can guarantee up. me a hundred percent that guns would not reach America or would not be in America, I wouldn't really. I I would gladly give it up. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, whatever it's what the same countries is they don't have please don't have guns. You gotta call what, what I that? know what? over in London. London. Okay, mm-hmm. guns are illegal every no one has guns. But not they still got to. guns on the streets though. It's a knife attack. But it's it's it's, it's not a lot. Nah, it don't matter. Right. It's still some though. Oh, it's yeah, it is. gonna break the law, but we talking yeah, about it's, in a perfect it, world. Yeah, it's not a lot. But they got them all. They ain't around. They scanned every corner. Everybody's I guns mean, is gone. Yeah, I mean, you might have to convert then. You might have to you know what would you want to do? Not might what I might what would you want to do? If everybody going along with it, you, you might have no choice no, but no, to no. go along with it. No, no, no. You keep saying, I'm, I'm well, going along. I want we, my rights. I want was, all my the, rights. I don't the, want... See, I, want I just think, saying, are you, I think it should be... <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Stand I think it. that the, the, second, the Second Amendment was... The amendments were written back with 1770 oh, something. Privacy. All that back shit. then, a gun took 30 seconds to, to shoot two bullets. You feel me? Like now, you can empty a clip in that time period. Like it need to. It, How is it, that changing anything? Because we need more. Re- we need more restrictions on. We don't. It don't necessarily have to be a one hundred percent blanket or taken away. But it definitely should be harder to get guns. It's super easy. It need to be harder. Okay. Difficult. Downright the difficult. The question is, mm-hmm. are you willing to give up some of your freedoms, your liberties, and your rights? That's that's what we are. Are you willing to do that if it means safety yeah, for everybody? I would. Everybody? I would. Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would. Okay. Surveillance is everything. All of that. Okay. Yep. There yeah. you go. I am not willing to give up anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and I'm no gun enthusiast, but... I grew up here. We the land of the free, right? Yeah. Mm. I could go somewhere else where it ain't no guns. I could. I'm choosing to be here. So, 
I want all that come with that. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of being free. Now, could we do some di- the different things to safeguard some of these places? I think we should maybe look into it. There's a lot of sickos running around, apparently. People taking people down. Yeah, yeah. But I'm here. I'm mm-hmm. all set up already. I don't want to give up anything. I, I, I actually want a little bit more freedoms. Right. I do. And this is a pretty free place to roam around. You can make money here. Mm-hmm. If you got any hustle and desire and heart, uh, you can walk around with a gun. Mm-hmm. If you so choose, you can not walk around with a gun. Uh, you can watch anything you want on TV. You can say anything about any elected official. You, uh, yeah, for the most part, you can you can yeah, you're free accept yet, harm. You can't talk about mm-hmm. harming them. R- harming them. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you can call them a piece of dog. Mm-hmm. Whatever you can. I mean, this is a pretty relatively free flowing place. I like the idea of it. I know. Um, some of us in this nation seem to have a lot more freedoms than others, but by and large, I wasn't gonna go there. But you, 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 I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You, I wasn't you're pretty go there, free, but. and I can tell you something else: the majority ain't giving up their guns. Of course, they're not giving up them guns. We know that they got guns. I want guns. That's exactly why if I would you, not give them. If you saw what happened at the Capitol building, if you thought that yeah. was crazy, mm-hmm. go try to take their gun. It's gonna go down. It, right. Cause, so cause it's a it's a certain group around here that don't play by their guns. Right. You ain't taking them guns. And well, they got guns. I need guns. What about the flip side of it? Bill comes to you. You got to vote yes or no. Right. A hundred percent round the clock, twenty four seven surveillance of everything you doing. Mm-hmm. Everything. Your neighborhood doing, right. your city doing, your right. state, your right. country. Right. 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 They say that, look, when we implement this surveillance and cell phone activity, internet activity, right. house, internet, whatever, when we implement this, crime will be significantly, significantly reduced to almost nothing. We still going to have some crime, right. but it's almost going to be nothing. Right. Would you sign up for that or would you decline it? I'll pass. There we go. I've asked. I mean, my man. I, I'm, I'm not even no big gun enthusiast. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I think some of the acts that we've been seeing um, is despicable. I mean, yeah. we're talking about young but, people dying, yeah. women, it's any innocent person dying at the hands of some crazed lunatic is bad. I think we need to have some real conversations about how we can safeguard people a lot better, but. Personally, I'm not giving up any freedoms. Right. So what if that conversation about safeguarding people a lot better? What if that conversation is surveilling people more? I'm not giving up any freedoms. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, the safeguard people, how would we do that? I don't like that idea. Come up with something else. Okay, I, I got don't, you. I don't like that idea at all. Come up with another way. Put some armed security around some schools. I don't know. <laughs> do something. Maybe more guns is what we need. I don't know. I'm right. not giving up any guns. I'm not giving up any guns. I'm not giving up any guns. I'm not either. Because you can't guarantee that everybody else ain't got Exactly. It. Even in the perfect world, if you could, I would be against it. If right. They, if they, I would be against that. I got you. I, 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 don't, I don't want what, to be, what about, what If about, nobody got them, I wouldn't care. What about, I think somebody would have them. See, that's what I'm saying. You would never have 100% thought that they're gone. If, even if they got them. Say, I think if they collected all of them, they went around with metal detectives and they got them all. I think the wrong people would find a way to get back to them. My, That's just the history my point. of the you, There's no way to guarantee that everybody does not have them. So I would never want to get rid of them because you can't guarantee that everybody don't have them. Exactly. Right. And, and, and I like... All of these scenarios, I, mm-hmm. I, I'm open but to listening. I was trying to get away from the guns, you know what I mean. But I, I, I understand you talking about your rights. Period. period. You know what I mean. I, I get I that. I love the freedoms, All right? Um, and, and, what? And we, yeah. A lot of us that. Let's be honest. That look like me. We ain't even really getting to experience all the freedoms Mm-mm. as they are designed. You right. Know what I mean? Right. Because I could do something. What. Well, some other people can do stuff that I can't do. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, exactly. I, and I'm aware of that. But 
just with the freedoms that I have been able to experience. Mm-hmm. But it seems like you're talking about legal things. Now, all the legal things you still be able to do. No. What do you mean by legal things? Like the freedoms that he's talking about. He, some people can enjoy freedoms that we can't enjoy or been ha- been in positions of privilege to, to have and, 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 you know, be well off mm-hmm. and be in a position to, you know, be looked at different by law enforcement mm-hmm. and get treated different. Yeah, that, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yeah, so I can't understand that. You know what I mean? We want law enforcement to give us the same damn freedoms and privileges that they give everybody else. That would be nice. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> that's what we want. That's just, that's you know, even that's just regular of, stuff. Even you know outside what I mean? of that, it's other freedoms. Like I said, there's some countries that have restrictions on how many kids you can have. Right. What jobs you can do. Right. But... <clears throat> Is that because of uh, safety things? You you can't have so many kids because one of your kids is going to grow up to be a da- a murderer. Is is that or is that an economic thing, like a financial population, thing, population control? Maybe. Right, but it's a freedom that we don't have to deal with. Exactly. So, it, but it, it, that ain't said, really tied to safety, though. You know what I mean? So we, but all of these are related to safety. I, I mean, we're talking about all the freedoms and liberties, yeah. and not just guns and that type right. of thing. Right. For, for the safety of meaning that, you know, crimes, you know, people robbing, people stealing, people raping, people, whatever it may be, you right. know, selling drugs, anything, you know what I mean? The crimes, you're cutting down on that. Now, some of those things that other countries do. For just for the hell of it, like what does other than the financial or economic reason, what does limiting how many kids have to do with the safety? I you know what I mean? Some, but some countries, um, penalties are harsher. We talking way about harsher. Losing a hand, getting yes, lashed. yes. Are you opposed to that? You steal, mm-hmm. you get your hand cut off. You lie, you get your tongue cut out. You run from the cops to cut your foot off. Kuta, I, Kuta, I get think uh, what America is doing um attracts people a lot of people want to come here a a lot of americans ain't looking to go other places but a lot of people is looking to come here so i think they on the right path but the majority the majority (laughs) they get away with stuff that the minority don't get away with that that's that's really the um the the only uneasiness. If everything was super fair across the board, this would probably be the best place to be. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I see really, what you're saying. Yeah. Really, really fair. Right. Really fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody got treated like a blonde-haired white woman. <laughs> if every, if <laughs> right. Everybody got treated with super dignity, yeah. super respect. From the start. Super regard. From the, super from the start of the country. Because that's what it was designed to be. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If everybody, honestly, I mean, with what we got going on right now, mm-hmm. even with some of the, the bad incidents, you probably take this place over a lot of places. 100%. Definitely. So, it's hmm. before, before we started, Google, it's been hundreds of mass shootings in America. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we only f- what, f- five months in, whatever. It's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mass shootings in America. Like over 400 or something like that, I think. Mass shootings with more than three or four people got shot, right? Now, this just take away removing guns, right? Because everybody's going to have guns. Everybody's going to have guns. If they said surveillancing these neighborhoods and these things and these places be holding tracking people and their movements would cut that down instead of 450 we only would have had a hundred mm-hmm. you know what i mean because we are monitoring people and we are able to thwart and stop these before it happened some people might you know what i mean I hey you know what i mean I just got hit with an idea. Go ahead. Now, I think people will be resistant to this, but this might help. You know how people will talk about planting a microchip? Yeah, that that's included in what I'm talking about. Not just, <laughs> what if the microchip could detect if you picked up a gun? Yeah, zap you yeah. or some shit like that? Not even zap you, just alert the police immediately. 
Yeah. If you got any type of gunpowder, a mechanism that can shoot, if the micro trip set off a loud sound. Right. You know what I mean? Or something alerted the police to exactly where you was at. I think that would cut down. You could still have your guns. Yeah. Like if, it, if you took your gun outside the house or something like that, you're getting alerted. You got to... They can talk to you right now. Like, what you about to do, bro? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. And you know would you be up for that? that? That's what I'm saying. Would you be up for that? I would be up for that. No, I would that, not either. That's part somebody of gonna what find I'm a way talking around about. That. Hmm? Somebody going to find a way around that. Somebody going to find somebody gonna fail, find a way around that. You find a way around that. Let's say in a perfect world, right. you can't find your way around it. So in a perfect world, My, we, that, yeah, we have the ability to maintain. You can keep your guns at your house. You can protect yourself. Mm-hmm. If somebody crazy enough to get to your house with the sensor, that, yeah, you still got your guns. They at your crib. You good. But if you go out that door, the tracking device start immediately, mm. and they can see you on camera. Right. All these little dudes that's got these Dracos and mm-hmm. all that, we got you. All these uh, uh, maniacal supremacists. Soon as you dock that door mm-hmm. with that gun. Mm-hmm. The camera comes up. I oh, like oh, that yeah. idea way better than having cameras and surveillance in people's personal houses. I like that idea a lot better. I'm cool but see what yes. you can do with conversation. Yes, that idea is so, dope. So you got a chip in your nail. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm cool with so, that. So, so you if, got a chip in your nail. If I had to choose. A lot of people think the goddamn vaccination was a chip. Exactly. You got this on you. <laughs> yeah. You got this on you. You. They know where you at. They know where you, they know where you at. They don't know you got a gun, but they know where you at. But see, if I had to choose between being surveillance 24-7 or having that chip that can alert them, I would pick the chip. The chip. I, see, I wouldn't. I don't have a problem with being surveilled in like the streets but not in my crib that's what my question was how much of your rights and yeah. liberties are you willing to give yeah. up for the now, safety it, of of the you know what i mean the country the neighborhood your I city your if state you take if, your gun out and that camera comes on if you go somewhere other than the range we on you we yeah got you. yeah mm. yeah we we can talk to you mm. through, the, through the microphone yeah you just fucked oh. up you just fucked you said going to the range i mean you still got your gun on you coming out the door right yeah, but yeah. you can say, you could, um, yeah. "Yeah, guys, I'm going to the range." Mm-hmm. And then, okay, we're gonna watch you get there. But but what about if you don't give a fuck about life no more? You bomb on somebody on your way to the range. But these or, these, I mean, these you, you're crazy, off. but uh, they yeah. still on you. You might get one or two, but they, you ain't mm-hmm. getting twenty. They got you. Mm-hmm. They on you. So I I'm, I understand. I'm cool with that. What is the life taking though? But There's so if if you're you telling can, the person that you can it? only go to the range. That is severely restricting their rights if you're telling them that they can only go to the range. With a gun in their hand. Well, yeah, with a gun on them. Soon yeah, as, yeah, as soon yeah. as they dock the door with the gun, you ask them where they're going. The, right. the, the camera comes on, the microphone comes right. on. They what if I'm they going say, the I'm, I'm going to my mom's house? Oh, we're going to make sure you get there safe. Okay, perfect. As long as they not, as long as I got to clear understand that you're not restricting their rights. So they're not really giving up no rights, only giving up the fact that they alerting the police that they got the gun. They can still go where they want, do what they want. They just got to let police know, I got it on me. Yeah. I got you. Uh, we got a patrol car there. Right. Look at shoot at that goddamn car. Or, or. The chip can also zap you. Man, this like is the, like, Come on, this is the got this. No, listen, because I mean, technology is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Say like, um, any mass shooter. He mm-hmm. said he was going to his mom's house, or he said he was going to the school. What you doing going to the school? We see you. You got a gun. Yeah, yeah. You got you eighteen. What you going to elementary school for? We we just gonna um go ahead and zap you. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll zap the gun out your hand because you ain't even supposed to be within one thousand feet of a school. Now we got some parameters. See, we have to think. Got to yeah. think outside the box. Right. Bernard, we see you. What you got the gun for? You going to you going to rob house? You don't need no gun for that. Come on, come on back. <laughs> you don't need no gun for that. That's a car party. Come on back. <laughs> oh, we got to come get you. But see, you don't want me to come get you? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. thinking. This thing yeah. is extra on this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Either like that. either way you put it, some liberties and rights is going to be taken and restricted. Yeah. No, yeah. Either way you put it, it's just you got how much are you willing to give up? You know what I mean? To ensure the safety, it, it does it matter how much more safe? Like I, I'm not giving up all these liberties, and we still the same amount of safe as we was before. But if it's a significant amount of what. less crime, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to have them know 
everything you doing, how you doing it, in order to be like, get rid of virtual as crime. It virtual. Relates to guns. Mm. If you are a gun owner, buyer, they put that chip and that microphone and that camera on you. Yeah, I think yeah. that'll do. Okay, something. you got you got yeah. the chip in you. We gonna get on, but you got the chip in you, and um, uh, you going to the store. Yes, you don't have no gun on you, right? I could. But yeah. you can't but you can't carry it outside the house. No, nah, he said you can. You, can. The police just gonna know they about just it. Know, yeah. And now they, yeah. they 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 following you on camera. Now so. it's a drone watching every your your all your movements because they know you got a gun on you. It's a drone watching everything and you if do. If you do try to get loose on tons of people, they're mm-hmm. gonna make you drop it. That drone gonna pop you down. So it's a lot of drones in the sky now. It's always it's drones always in the sky. Drones, yeah. <laughs> or just the camera. Satellites. It's always satellites yeah, yeah. and drones. The cameras yeah, yeah. is picking up all your movements. Yeah, if yeah. you do start trying to mass murder, they're going to zap that, that, that gun out your hand. Now they're going to be able to hold it. Okay. I like that idea. I like it. I like it. And you ain't like got bad intentions. Okay. You got nothing to worry about. Okay. We got to move on. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I solved the damn gun. <laughs> <laughs> me from out my brain. I done solved everything. Look at me. Look at me go. All right, we got another go. segment. Another pretty serious topic. Is the black community, or would the black community be re- be receptive to a new leader? You know, we had mm. great leadership in the past. Right now, we don't have one that kind of stands out like a Martin or a Malcolm. Those the two we normally go to. But we had a lot of great leaders in the past. We had Garvey. We had Fred Hampton. We had a lot of people mm. Mm. that that led the community in one capacity or another with the advent of social media and just the way people think, do you think the black community is open um, to leadership? Like one person, two people, somebody, somebody solid that they all can get behind. Hmm. <laughs> we just go first, got the way. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think our community need a, uh, uh, a leader out here because the way it is now, it's, it's crazy and don't see it getting no better. So I feel like, yeah, we do need a a, a strong leader that's not going to get taken down by somebody when they see it's, that he's doing good. Good things. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know who. Right. But mm-hmm. for you sure. think we could benefit from one? Yeah, though. yeah. Somebody that emerged out of the mm-hmm. ashes and, and can get people moving in one direction. For sure. Yeah. But I mean, we got to we got to take care of yeah. that person because, like I said, yeah. you see what happened to the other men that yeah. got shot down and and yeah. they got put in jails and Certainly. governments took yeah. them down and mm-hmm. shit like that. So, you know, positive positive leadership, in my opinion, can only be good it can, if you have somebody. Now everybody got different opinions. What you know, everybody got different agendas or what they feel they you know what they need to be doing, whatever. But positive leadership can only be good, in my opinion. And it's crazy because we are living in a country where a lot of positive um, leaders um, put a, have a target on their back because of. The um, because of be, being afraid of unity, right? That's what I, I believe. That's what the the fa- the foundation of this country is afraid of us uniting. If we, you know, if we united and we all moved together and we all had the same agenda and we all pushed and pushed and 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 you know wanted this and wanted that and got it done. If you look at all the other minority communities, they moved together. They got their own little Chinatowns and their own little Italian towns and stuff like that. And don't nobody, you know, they handle this. You know what I mean? They have, uh, to me, on the outside looking in, it seems like they have a, a, a structure, foundation, and agenda, and they all on one. They demand what they want for themselves, and they get it. You see what I'm saying? What happened when we do that? We when we get our own thing, they end up bombing it and, and burning yeah. it down. Do, you know what I mean? Do they, do they, other, they try to do it with, with like Chinatown and stuff like that, especially in when um, uh, what was it uh, in the '40s mm-hmm. in um, like San Francisco, and they got a big Asian community out there. Um, they they try to infiltrate that too. Yeah, you know, they, yeah. they try it. Yeah. They try it. They, they don't. They don't want 
any type of unity with any other with any minority. Yeah, you know, but especially us. That. Right. They they try, but not as successful. Yeah. Because they still whatever. But anyway, back back to us having somebody who um who is on the forefront and just being a, a single because you got so many people doing so many different things now. You yeah, got that's part of the yeah. question. Do you think we as a community would be receptive to a, a leader that's on a wave, whether to it's just a one person, wave, a, a socially conscious wave. Or I I personally a think, and not not now. I think at the one chance we had was Obama. I think Obama was the last person to get the majority of the black people's support. As a leader, Shit, not all black folks do. Well, man, that's why I say majority. Okay. Yeah, I think he's the one who get the majority of the support. But anybody else is going to be split because too many people, in my opinion, have second thoughts about leaders. They, what's your agenda? Why, why are you speaking out about this? What are you trying to gain? You know what I mean? Why? Why are you? Are you only doing this for posts and likes and retweets? Right. Like, what, what are you doing this for? And I think people always gonna gonna come at people. And so, even when you do something good, you see somebody doing something good that you think is good. Uh, Ice Cube going to go meet with Trump about you know getting help or making the communities better. They got on cue. They got on cue. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They didn't want. They didn't want nobody. Steve caught that smoke. Yeah, Harvey. but and. It, it, I don't. Yeah, they, to me, I don't get that because um, what's the, Jim Brown. He, yeah, you know Jim Brown is a big he's super. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he well respected. Mm-hmm. Super OGD. Um, he caught that smoke, right? For even looking like he was sitting down with Trump. See, People like not. Nah. And those, why they didn't those sit examples. Down with Obama. Why didn't they go meet with, with Obama? Or, with Obama. Mad people met with Obama. He wasn't as controversial as Trump. And right. Trump has this. I don't thing. remember Ice Cube going to to. to Talk policies with Obama. Well, I don't that. well I two don't know things if they with was that. Talking policy, mm-hmm. they was just chopping it up. Trump don't know no policy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that, that's what Cube was trying to do, right? He was going to try to implement some sort of change in in the community type of right. No, I guess. what was he, what was the purpose he was going to see him in? Yeah, that, I, I'm sure that was the purpose. Yeah. It. Do you right. remember I think any some type of other person? Some infrastructure. I don't know if he because Trump had that big cloud around him mm-hmm. that he doesn't like respect. You know, minorities, people of color. If they did meet with Obama, it wasn't met with that type of media coverage or swirl because mm-hmm. he don't have those problems. Yeah, Trump is associated with all those problems. And and it's not, like you said, that's not a, a headline um, of yeah, a, a black person going to go meet with a black in, person in the White House and everything. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean, so different with Trump. The thing that a lot of people want from a leader is to be able to go speak to the opposition, if you want to call them. You got to be able to mediate. You got to be able Dialogue. to. You, yeah, you got to be able to go confront them. Tell them what you want, what you need, what's going to happen, and possibly what will happen if we don't get what we want or what we need. You, you got You have to have people to communicate with the opposition because people in reality, it. it don't matter who in office, whether it's Obama, Bush, Trump, Clinton, it don't matter who in office, black people's conditions ain't changing. You know what I mean? Definitely change under anybody. And nobody. And not changing. Nothing's happening. Law enforcement still whipping everybody ass. Did it under Obama. Doing it, did it under Trump. Nothing changes. But you gotta keep having that conversation. But the way social media is and the way everybody got their own agendas and the way people don't trust people, I don't think the black community will be receptive to one overall leader. I think everybody got too many different agendas going on. That's why you got multiple people, whether it be a Angela Rye or, you know what I mean, somebody. Right. You got so many people leading so many different fronts. It's not. It's I don't not think it'd be unified. It's not. Yeah. And it's yeah. proven to be not effective. Before yeah. we finish out this segment, too, I want to ask y'all a question. And I've thought about this a lot. So if, I, if mine is more thought out, don't worry about that. But we'll talk about that when we get there. Any other 
person here on the panel want to speak to um, if the black community would be receptive to a new leader? I don't think Steve has. Yes. Uh, no. Nah. I don't think Scott um, has. But I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it would have, you know, this ain't the 60s. Ain't the 60s. Um, they, they. But even they, then it was split between Malcolm and, and right. Martin. Even then it was split, but you know what I mean? What I mean, okay, with, with the Malcolm and Martin, they wanted the same thing. They just went, went about, about it two different ways, right? You know, the the goal was still the goal. They just went about it two different ways. What was the I don't know if they wanted the same thing. Uh, so no. at at first, yeah, right. Malcolm, yeah, you're right, you're right. they right. wanted he separation. Yeah, separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. At yeah. first, in, yeah. But in the end, he, he in the he, end, he understood. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah mm -hmm. so he got hit with bricks of his head. And let me stop. But nah, nah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about Martin. Martin said that stupid shit. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, nah, I, I don't think it would be. A, it it won't be. People ain't going for that. They. You know, trying to get behind everybody. Wants this is the, this this is the reason why social media is so big. Everybody want a platform. Mm -hmm. Every, you know, mm -hmm. so it'd be super hard to to uh, 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 get behind somebody. You know, and have them. You know, we 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 have you know celebrities that we I guess entrust to 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 <laughs> meet probably with. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, probably shouldn't. They don't yeah. have it. It, it. Go ahead, my man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. but then when they go and then they try to do something, then it's like, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah. you, you know, doing? What you doing? I, I, I don't think so. I respect the individual leaders doing their own thing. I mean, you got like Jay Prince down in Texas, Hughes, whatever. Mm -hmm. Jay Prince, he do a lot for the community. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? What's okay. what's the other guy down there um, who yeah. help out a whole lot? You know what I mean? Those are leaders who do mad stuff. You know what I mean? But as far as... Are we talking one. Right. As far as having a centralized one or two people, I don't think people go for it. It's too many different agendas. That's like almost virtually impossible. Yeah, it's too many different issues, too many different agendas. That's what I said. That's why social media is yeah. so big. Everybody wants to be that person. Mm -hmm. So that means you got to take a step back and people ain't taking steps back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> um, I hate to sound redundant. I... I don't think the black community would be receptive to a singular leader or even two or three. Mm -hmm. I think with the advent of social media, um, just know everybody's ideas are all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody is super skeptical of everybody. Mm -hmm. a, a, a man could be trying to do all good yep. and his own people pardon will look for something in his past to, yep. make, him, to, to make him look bad. Mm -hmm. I hate to say that, but I just don't think it's a person um, that can emerge that could make everybody feel warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. about what we're doing. That, that's my answer to that question. I agree. Now, I got a separate question. Mm -hmm. And I've thought about this a lot. What do you think black people could do as a collective to mobilize and move forward in a different way, a better way. To me personally, I, it all start with finances to me. Okay. I mean, I think once, I think if we could, you know, finance our own communities with, with our own libraries, our own rec centers, our own, you know, shops and stores, and and oh. and I think almost like the, you know, the the, the, the Tulsa, you know, Oklahoma, they had a whole community was black operated on banks, coffee shops, shoe stores, hospitals, hospitals they shut, they shut that shit down. all right. To me, I think that's where it start because we know what we need. We know, okay, look at this neighborhood. They don't have not one. Computer lab, not one basketball court rec center, not one thing that they can do to occupy their time. So you got elementary, middle, high school kids. They get they get out of school. They go straight into the streets, mm -hmm. right? You got some neighborhoods that's like that. That ain't got nothing for them because mm -hmm. they ain't got no finances. Right? We can't get if we can get together 
And you got a lot of celebrities, a lot of famous rich people, and people that ain't not even famous that pool their money together and do stuff. But it, I think that's where we got to start. You know what I mean? So some type of financial some, infrastructure. We got to have some financial some type of infrastructure. Unity. For real, yeah. unity. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean, like so, what? Shit. Like okay. Like you say, like financial. You got people out here that got good jobs. Uh huh. You got some people out here that don't put other people on with good jobs. Like put them on with stuff like that. They just and some people ask already. Like come me on with that job, man. Mm-hmm. They ain't trying to put nobody on. They all for self. We we all for self. So, okay. Yeah, I can't say that. That's a lie. <clears throat> I think that um, we might, or we we maybe should use their technology in our benefit. You know, we we are globally connected. You know, what I'm saying so. We could, uh, you know, people could develop apps or or social um, communication places via phone mm-hmm. where we can unify ourselves and our ideas and our and our and things that our movements, you know, or anything that we w- want to do. We could start there. Then we can go to finances. So we can have a treasurer, you know, di- you know, or, or you know, in 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 you can you can start by connecting first. Okay. Then you can Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the yeah. Yes. And then use that to move in 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 into a more unified way to like a you know like a flock of birds you you know we all know how to move we all gotcha. mm-hmm. it's it's easier to communicate to one so you, I got gotcha. you I think I got you on that uh, Bernard asked a, a a question I don't think anybody heard him he said do some of these other minority groups have leaders mm-hmm. I don't know if they have, I don't know if the Mexicans got a, a, a guy like Malcolm X. I don't know if the Indians, and I'm talking about from India. I don't know if the Filipinos have, mm-hmm. but I do think they have an infrastructure that they just follow. It's like something in place that gets passed down that they know they got to do, right? It's just a well old thing that kind of works Beneath the surface, we see them. You see a bunch of Mexican dudes coming out of Lowe's, and they all going to work. They all seem to be pretty jolly. It seemed like they all going to the same house at least for a time. You know what I mean? I think black people's biggest problem, especially now, is everybody wants to be an individual. We're going all the way wrong with that. We're going stupid wrong. Now, this is never going to happen. But this is my solution to our problem mm-hmm. in a nutshell. I got on an Adidas. You probably got on a Nike. And I, we need to do away with all of that. Stop stop buying anything name brand. We need one shoe. We need to wear a uniform. A couple sweatpants. Black, blue, I don't know, green. We all need to look the same. Live in the same type of house like a one level rancher build these communities that got we need to get back to coming to be the same we everybody is so hyped on looking different being different no we need to be the same we need to get in lockstep with one another do away with all of nike adidas polo stop so, buying it so Don't basically eat. build our own brand what are you trying to say one brand we don't need a lot we just need one brand is it you mean like a, a black owned band? Brand, brand? Definitely of course. black owned. Yeah, we def- need to start with a factory that build a factory. I, uh, whoever got money, Kevin Hart, Oprah, <coughs> Tyler Perry, build a couple of factories. You do know that was one of the biggest reasons why you know they their excuse for 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 locking a lot of black people up. You know, you know, because we all wear the same stuff or we you know oh there's a black guy in a hoodie that's like that's fine that's fine okay even the white collar worker we we getting our suits from the same place we getting our sweatpants our denim jackets our hats everything Mm -hmm. one place we need to pool all our money stop stunting on each other everybody have the same car 
We all got a four door sedan. Oh, so this is the, okay. We don't need I get him saying. with a Lexus and me with a Camry. We have to stop. We ain't stunting on nobody else. We come to stunt on each other. And all of that causes all the violence. All of that causes all the foolishness. If we stop trying to one up each other and everybody do the same thing, it's no one man hiding the next. If you a judge, if you a garbage man, you got the same house. You got the same house. I think Ooh. we'll get closer to happiness if we all just had the same thing. If Everybody, mm, 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 we is. I think that kind of contradicts your your freedom thing. Your freedom. This uh, is a this is a different topic. Okay, <laughs> it sounds like communism. <laughs> we See, we and, need a little I communism will. amongst ourselves. Okay, this is a different thing. Okay, don't don't swirl me up when I'm, I'm trying to do I'm something. Sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm trying to do something. I'm sorry, swirl okay. that. <laughs> we all need to be on the same thing. If we stop. The, he got this, and our whole lives is predicated on stunting, and it's all foolishness. So it's we need to be a hundred percent, hundred percent, us doing the same thing. We got need the same. to be in lockstep. We need to come together, be on one spiritual movement. God, if it's God, I don't care if it's Jesus. Just let's call him God. If you like to praise, praise him. God, God. We know he up there. It could be whoever is, whatever you want to call him by, let's just call him God. Okay. We don't need nothing that can divide us. We need to be under one umbrella. All the money going to one pot. That way all of us can get a three, four bedroom house that looks the same. Don't nobody got everybody got a pool. One pool. If some family is huge, then they get a special circumstance. Y'all get two more bedrooms. But we need the same thing. Everybody got the same. If everybody got the same thing, you ain't got no reason to shoot nobody. He ain't got judge that nobody. More. He don't got no rims on his Hellcat. He ain't got a Hellcat. He got a he got a a four door black car. Everything's black. <laughs> we don't need all of these chains. We don't need all of these fitted hats. We don't need all of these. We don't need none of that. All we need is each other. If we get in lockstep and we put. Stop promoting all of this Gucci and Louis and making all of these white people rich. Yeah, I can't and all stand of that. these car companies rich. You know how I feel. And about all that. of these jewelers. We don't have no damn mining companies. We don't got no we don't have any of that. Put it down. It's a it's a piece of bedazzlement that goes around your neck. A man don't need to be bedazzled, bitch. <laughs> Put it down. You don't need nothing that shines around you. We shine together. If we do everything together, everything together, work out together, eat healthy, if we black people do that, we will be much better off. We don't need to stun on each other. That's our problem. Everybody got to look different. Everybody got to be on a different wave. No. The more different that we getting, the more individualized, the weaker we become. This is strong. This is all disjointed and fragmented. If we just come together, stop worrying about the stuff that don't matter. None of this stuff don't matter. Mm. It don't matter at all. But we think it matter. We've been down so long <laughs> that when you put on a nice new pair of shoes, you be hype. I be hype. But we all got to do a better <laughs> exactly. job. We got to do a better job of moving away from that, man. I've been teaching my kids way different, way different. You don't need none of that, man. You need happiness more than anything. You will be happy if you don't feel like Jay-Z is sitting in, in Malibu in the hills. What if Jay-Z lived right beside you? He was as talented as he is, but he lived right beside you. No gated community. He don't have a Bentley. He got the same car you got. But he still can. He still got rhymes. We have more of an appreciation for each other, and that's another thing we got to do. We got to check this music. I know you disagree with me, Steve, but we got to check this music. We got the only music that glorifies killing each other. You never gonna hear that on a white radio station with white people saying they gonna do it to each other. You never gonna hear them calling the, their women hoes and bitches. It just don't happen, but it happens for us all the time. 
Somebody said if, if 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 people was rapping about killing dogs, would they play that on the radio? No, but you can rap about killing each other, and it's all over the place. We got to start thinking for ourselves. This is terrible what's going on in our community, but we got to stunt for whatever reason. If we move away from that, and everybody did this, had the same damn uniform, from the garbage man to the judge, it's black judges, it's teachers, I think we need to all make around the same amount of money. There's no reason why somebody should be making $20 million and somebody make $10 an hour and their job might be more important. I think even if you do make, if Jimmy Butler make 20 something million dollars a year, it should go in the same pot. We should run our own banking system Mm -hmm. and everybody make a decent amount of money. We'll be fine. We only make up 14% of the nation. We can do all of that right here. That ain't illegal. We can do that. They wouldn't like it much, but we could do it. You like it at all. Mm-hmm. We, try to end we can do it. And that, that'll that save us, man. We too individualized. And we think that's the flash shit in the world to have on a different shirt. I done drove to a mall 80 miles away to get something that looked way different than somebody else. <laughs> I don't think nobody got it. Oh, I'm on. I was on the wrong wave. I need to look like him, and he need to look like you. It don't matter. Don't, this shit don't matter. It don't matter at all. But until we get in lockstep, we're going to continue doing all the dumb shit we're doing. We got the wrong values in place. We that's valuing true. all the shit that don't matter. And that's my final word. I agree with, with that, though. With everything you said, I have <laughs> had so many conversations that last for hours. So I'm not going to bring up Anything else to add on to that? Because it's that's literally a long conversation to have. It's a long conversation about about the possibilities and the difference between a just for general statements, a capitalist society and a socialist society. It's a I had deep conversations about that and. I, I don't. I ain't gonna get into it. Maybe we can say that for maybe another episode. For it real, it goes back to restrictions. But we need. We could do that under the guise of democracy if we did it in the right way. I, man, this 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 opens up another two hours of a, of a, of a show. Literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah, I've had these same conversations. Yeah, literally. So I might ask you so many day. questions. And some so of them many don't agree. Um, mm-hmm. I get that, but I'm. I I would be totally prepared to, to make a move if somebody talked some real talk to me like that and they had an idea about how it could be implemented whatever I think I got I would be willing to give it all back if everybody could have the same thing that's my stance on it do you think that the community would be safer in that regards it would be hell, way hella safer so you willing to give up some of your liberties and rights and freedoms for safety yeah in, in that be. regard, with, with well, I, I, I mentioned that to him. I, was, I, was, I know, I know. Steve That's why I looked at him. you. That's why I looked with, at you. With, with my folks, yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. definitely. But if you're in a, uh, a democratic situation, you know what I mean? The, the nation that we in, we still can have our... Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I, this or that, man. This yeah. or that. And nigga, he I, just I, I swindled deep. you back into the conversation. Steve nah, said, "Look, I, I, nah, I, nah, I, uh, nah, I, This was me thinking while he was talking. I was just like, yeah. "Well, that kind of sounds like a contradiction to what you, no, uh, yeah, your, your yeah, freedoms, because yeah, yeah. because you you limiting you you putting parameters around yourself. No, no th- that is um, that's a to me that's a totally different conversation." We can talk about that. Yes, that's, that's, I, that's I a, think that's a different conversation. We to yes, me. a whole yeah. other topic okay, from that's set up in the, a different way. This capitalist is, this is something else. versus socialist, and we'll break it down in okay. black terms. You know what I mean? Right? right. Yeah. Right. We can right, talk right, about right. that. Yeah. This, this or that. I got a this, this or that. I got a this or that. Let's hear. Let's go. So I'm be real quick because mm-hmm. I'm gonna just set up the scenario. Mm-hmm. B. You got unlimited amount of money to build. Well, not unlimited. You got a lot of money to build your own crib, right? You building your whole your whole crib, but for some reason, the kitchen is the last part you building. You only got enough money left for a fridge or a stove. You can't get both. What are you buying? You buying a fridge or you buying a stove? <laughs> <laughs> 
I know my answer off the rip. It, it, it ain't me, man. It, uh, all right, for me. Pause. Um, <laughs> somebody buy a fridge. Or you rather have the fridge? I'd rather have over a stove. Mm. Yeah. You only get one. You spend all your money on everything else around the crib. Now I come to the kitchen, you like, damn. I only got enough money left over for a fridge or a stove. Got a question. Mm, 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 What's mm, mm. the question? Is the microwave part of it? Um, that's making it real easy to say yeah. So um, no microwave. But no, microwave. no, yeah, no, no microwave. microwave. No microwave. Shit. Just a fridge or a stove. So I ain't gonna try to pick your two, your uh your this or that apart. Mm-hmm. I'm mean, just answer the question. Mm-hmm. Now, but I mean, that's be, a now, good that, question. Now, no, no, I'm talking that, about you. With that being you're said, no, pick mine apart. <laughs> no, no microwave. I go with the stove. I go with the stove, then the fridge. But you can't get a fridge. You ain't got no money for a fridge. If you buy a stove, that's all you got. You ain't got no money for a fridge. How you gonna eat then? It's, hey, I, which one you stove. gonna get? I get, I get the stove. You can eat with the stove. You can't eat with no refrigerator because you don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. You can eat. I buy a stove. Okay. Because the refrigerator, you can buy stuff, you store stuff or whatever, but you can buy stuff to cook, eat, whatever have you. You got to have nothing cold. Uh, you just eat out, you just cooking every goddamn day. Eat soup. Eat that soup. Mm-hmm. Jail food. <laughs> there you go. The, the only kitchen appliance you can buy, Steve, mm-hmm. is a fridge or a stove. Buying the refrigerator. Gotcha. I think the 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 refrigerator is probably is one of the greatest inventions in, in mankind. Like true, true. be able to 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 keep stuff cold. keep stuff for a long period of time. You know, what I mean, Fact. opposed to. Back in the 1600s or something before that, you know, you, you, you know, uh, so you expiration date on stuff is really, really fast. Good. How you eat then? Well, the, <laughs> yeah. you can purchase things that don't have to be cooked. Sandwich meat? Yeah. You eat family sandwich meat. Rest of life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can't buy this. Later on, like no, 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 no. You got to choose. You either get in the stove, or you get in the refrigerator. That's the only kitchen appliance you getting. Which one is more important to you, a stove or a refrigerator? I get the stove. Fuck that. You, I'm, I'm, I I'm buy shit for cooking every day. Kept in the fridge. Okay. Well, I recently, over the winter time, my refrigerator went out. Mm. So I actually had a situation. <laughs> okay. My refrigerator went out for like a week, and it was about a week it took before I could get. Yeah. A new one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so this is funny. And it was snowing around that time because I remember putting like coffee cream and butter and shit on my um because it's cold. Yeah, yeah the snow. <laughs> on my um patio table and I kept some stuff in the garage, but all my meats and stuff I had to had to get rid of. This is a tough one, man. I'm actually gonna go with the stove though, because I made out pretty good <laughs> without the refrigerator. <laughs> I tell you what, ice is underrated though. Ice is not, underrated. Not being able to have ice in the crib, that's mm. underrated. But yes. I made it. I was I was pretty cool. And um the kids was there. We all made I did a lot of eating out and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um you still could cook stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean you could, that's the way you I could get anyway. stuff and cook it immediately. Yeah. Yes. And you'd be safe. You have no yes. choice. You got no choice, yeah, right? Yeah, you gotta cook it immediately. Yeah, yeah, but the refrigerator really only holds stuff that you need to cook. You need exactly. To cook. So not having to experience that, mm-hmm. it keeps stuff cool, but yeah, that's not live or die. You could really drink stuff warm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, temp- room temperature. Yeah, mm-hmm. I actually did all right. Um, having that experience, oh, um, so I'm gonna go with the stove, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go oh, with the stove. Uh, honey, no wrong or right, right? No wrong or right answer, but I'm 100% picking stove because one, I don't like cold food. I, 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 I most of the food I eat is warm or cooked or whatever, like that, because I don't like cold food the one thing that i would definitely sacrifice in this situation is cereal milk (laughs) i eat a lot of cereal and i would not be able to store my milk for long periods of time um i would have to find alternatives that could probably not have to be refrigerated which i don't know i don't even know if almond milk oat milk whatever kind of milk anyway 
I, yeah, I would have to sacrifice okay. cereal for that I mean, because I got a stove. Buy the little ones and just keep, yep, keep buying the, the little ones and still have my cereal. You know what I mean? And I think, but I think having not having a refrigerator is you 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 probably would spend more money because you have to keep buying stuff. You can't you can't store anything. I wouldn't have an issue with that because I know well, I'm you, getting the food I want. Okay. That's why I, I would pick the stove, even if I got to keep going to the grocery store every day or every other day. You're going to definitely have to do that. Right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Even no, if I got to spend, right. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But even if I got to spend more money, go to the store every two days, which the wife would do. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I, w- I would do that because I want some stuff cooked on the stove or in the oven, you know, you know, stoves, you know, all that. I would have to have that in there. I, you know like what I mean? If I were to choose which one of my appliances to break, it would I would rather my stove break before my my refrigerator. I would rather the refrigerator. Yeah. 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 This or that. Mm-hmm. This. Who got some? Well, I guess I'm gonna go because um, this is a small segue into uh, yeah, this or that. Um, you asked him, uh, Lee. Gas grill or charcoal grill? Charcoal. Easy for me. I, I've never actually cooked on a gas grill. Oh, you know what? Um, my mom had one, and I kind of had to do a little bit, but it is it, really not my swag. I'm a charcoal guy. <laughs> okay. Charcoal, easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, B. Same thing with Cuz said. Charcoal. Charcoal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Legend? Gas. Yeah. <laughs> It's just easier for me. I never did. I never did the charcoal thing. I mean, I have uh, one cookout. I was manning the grill. It was charcoal um, at wifey aunt crib, and um, I didn't like it. it. Was too much of a hassle. I didn't like it. It was too much. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. No, really. Nah, you gotta raise and lower the charcoal. You gotta figure out how to keep the fire going. I'm not good at that because I haven't gave it enough practice. I, I did it at one time and was like, I'm not buying a, a, a charcoal grill. It's too much. I would rather just. Like a stove, turn my knob and cook like a stove. So it's easier for me to do the gas. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I I agree with it being easier for gas. Um, but I prefer charcoal because of the taste of the food. The taste. Uh, the taste of the food you know, is like is way better. With it's not like it's nasty or anything. With, mm-hmm. with I'm gonna gas, tell you this though, it tastes better with them Angus. Junk that you had on the on the gas junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they taste the same on the grill or the got they go on the, uh, 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 Oh, they're gonna taste what? good. They're gonna taste better on the grill, probably. Oh, they gonna taste good on the grill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just Angus hot dogs. Just you know, oh. you know how you got beef hot dogs. Mm-hmm. Or it's just Angus, Angus beef. beef. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's yo. good. I ain't yeah. never had them shit. I'm damn, <laughs> miss them. Oh, miss them. Yeah, <laughs> their dress was right. Yeah, yeah. Is, Anybody got? I don't have one. I'm sorry. I have one. It's funny, yo. Oh. Mm-hmm. E, what up? <laughs> it's crazy, but I'm not, I'm gonna still ask you though. It's um, which one would you rather? Come on, man. All right, look. Which one would you rather? Uh, <laughs> say it. Hang with or be around with or 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 grow up with. I said say that, but um, Oaks Mob or KLU? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my KLU boys. You know what I'm saying? Fontana, that is hilarious. Boys, Fontana, yo. like what you doing with the Norby boys, man? You know what's up, man? Y'all know what's up, <laughs> that's man. Funny. All love, baby. Oh man, that's yeah. funny. So, that's funny. you know, um, I am the youngest out the crew. Growing up, out Norview. A lot of people don't know me, so they don't know I grew up, you know, I grew up grew up out Oakmont, but family rep Oaks, you know what I mean? That was, you know what I mean? That was that was very unique for me, you know what I mean? Um, chilling every day with people that might have beef <laughs> with my family, you know what I mean? That they know, oh, that's that's such such little cousin, but you know what I mean? It, it had never stopped me from doing anything or whatever, but... Um, God dang! I mean, on the spot. So I mean, That's growing up, yeah, 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 growing about the way everybody was ripping KU. Yeah, right, you right. so you know what I mean. So it was like, hey, that's that's what <laughs> that's where you what, was at. Even though that was more of a, a city thing, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But city, oh, one, 
whole Literally avenues, whatever, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I mean, it was everyday dealings with, with the city, KIU cat. So, yeah. that's what it was that, growing that up, you know what I mean? Easy yeah, that's yeah. That's where you lived at. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's so many times where we at, you know what I mean? You got Oaks over here, KIU over here. I'm on this side because I'm chilling with my family, but I got to walk back that way. <laughs> so they see me over there, but you know, I ain't about nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? I'm cool with everybody. So, you know what I mean? I'm over here because I'm over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I got to go and live and chill over there. Mm. I ain't doing nothing. Right. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, you? That's what it was. So it's you? Of course, you know what I mean. You cat, what right. it is, you know what I mean. Like that's just that's, that's just how it is all the time. Yeah, yeah. I had to get, had to get even that one. <laughs> Y'all boys lived out Oak Mount for a while, yeah. so, you know, but it was. But I was still yeah. going yeah. out the way. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? yeah. It was yeah. hot for me when I had to move. <laughs> St. Andrews. It was hot. No, no, St. Andrews. They already knew what my alliance was, but that that was my squad too. But. Um, Oh, even with the Oakland, yeah, you stayed on yeah, Oakland. Yeah, that was when shit got real hot for me, but um, yeah, Oaks to the death. I don't yeah. even know nothing about all yeah, of that, you know what I mean? Definitely yeah. Oaks. That ain't no question for me, you know yeah. what I mean? Oaks. Yeah. All day. Nigga, you from Coma Place. I mean, you from uh, Crossroads, man. What you talking about? Uh, <laughs> what? That's, so, not, that's not part of this event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I... Shout out to the city boys yeah. out there, man. No I was cool. Right. I was cool with everybody. I was there. cool with everybody. Everybody showed me love because I stayed in my lane. And I stood up when I need to stand up for myself. I showed everybody respect, and I was just good. That's just who I was. It's all. It's all. No of you though. Yeah, know what's up. It's all no love. of you all day. Yeah. No of you. Shout out to TB. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, he really had it, but he rapped where he was at. Yeah, yeah. He it. yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he sure did. And they had yeah. to get on down a few times, but you know, yeah, come with the territory. I went to school. We, we, he did we, right. I went to um, went to uh, summer school with TB, and uh, it was a you know, it was just it was all up. You know what I mean? It was cool. He yeah. was he a funny guy too, man. Uh, and he you know at that time, I think. Uh, uh, KIU was beefing with uh, Berkeley, and he got real wild. But <laughs> <laughs> he got real wild. But he, you know, that's, he, he was a cool guy though. Yeah, man. It's all family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, if you stand up, this or that. Who else got some? Mm. Then y'all I'm out. Save them. Yeah. Save them. You got one. I don't have any. You got that? <laughs> I never have any. <laughs> <laughs> I never have any. <laughs> we got a wrap up. All right, you know, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate the love and support. Pull up a chair, signing out. Peace. Peace.